Hi sisters, it's Jake here. Sisters, hi. And I'm back with another video. Uh, today I have a wonderful guest on my channel. Oh, Duncan. Where? Oh, Kastner. Oh no, I hate that guy. I love this guy. No, 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 no. This guy rocks. Okay, I'm convinced. <laughs> you're convinced that you're awesome. Yeah, it's you fine. got me, maybe. <laughs> I discovered Duncan's channel quite a long time ago. I was looking at who else had uploaded videos about a specific person person hmm. that I really enjoy. Ooh. At the time in the commentary community, it was like uh, you and I, and then like a bunch of like the problematic commentary people who like we don't talk about. <laughs> Those guys. Now, I don't know if you've seen this. I hope you haven't. Shane Dawson made a short film called I Hate My Selfie One. I Hate My Selfie, did you say? Yes. He wrote a book called I Hate My Selfie. Okay. And made a short film out of a chapter from the book. I made a video on this. I ended up talking about I Hate My Selfie Two. And I need to talk about I Hate My Selfie 1 if I'm going to complete this saga. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot. <laughs> now, it, it is a two-parter. We're only going to watch part one because part, like, they're not connected. You would think the different parts would have some sort of connection. I did think that, yeah. But remember, it is Shane Dawson, and um, <laughs> and we, we can't expect that. I do have to warn you, and this is sort of a, a warning for the audience as well. This was a deleted short film that Shane put lots and lots of funding into. I believe he used an Airy Alexa to shoot this, which oh. if you don't know, I know that Duncan knows, but... Yeah, my film is... school brain started bleeding. <laughs> yeah, you're having internal bleeding from the $100,000 camera. Yeah, it just started. I'll let you know how that goes. And just a fair warning, um, because it, it seems like you don't know much about the short film. All of the I hate my selfie parts are with Shane in a fat suit. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding is right. So not only is Shane involving himself in his project, but he's being offensive during it? Yes, of course. Huh. Well, that, that catches me off guard. Like those are two things I wouldn't expect from no. such a creative and responsible guy. But here we are, I guess. Kind of a young Tommy Wiseau. If you yeah, will. he's really channeling that. Um, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> spin that into a joke. This is awful. I believe this is the only place that you can find it. So this is going to be some exclusive content. In the title, there has to be like watching deleted Shane Dawson short film. You know what I mean? Got to get those clicks. Shout out to the heroes who download the stuff that creators end up deleting instantly because yeah. Otherwise, we would just never know this stuff. No, thank you for having the wherewithal, like for watching this 12 minute video and going, okay, Shane in a fat suit, making offensive jokes. This is gold and I'm going to get the re-upload views. I'll put a trigger warning. I don't, I've never seen this before, but I will end up putting one because I know that I will need one. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff where it's like, haha, how awful. But then like you give it five minutes and then it sinks in and you're like, this is like really bad and he shouldn't have done any of this. Yeah, and he had a full team on this. Like, there's multiple people who work on this. Can I ask like, what I, year this was made? This is from 2015. Oh, dear God. I'm looking at its IMDb. It has five stars out of 10. Wow. So IMDb has tags in it. Mm -hmm. And this is how they tagged the storyline. Year 2006, high school prom based on book, overweight lesbian. Oh, no. It seems to me like Shane might have tagged this himself. <laughs> What have you gotten me into? <laughs> Let's take a look. We'll pause when needed. Let's see. A wise person once said, prom is only for whores and for the gross men that want to fuck them. I'm sorry, how many seconds in did we just get? <laughs> Six. We've gone through like a vine's worth of content into this already. <laughs> and yeah. it's already like giving me like shivers. Like look at yeah. the way he's looking at the camera. Seriously. You know what? If I don't put that in my thumbnail, I'm missing out. <laughs> look that at him glaring. Very... Like, yeah. like he's mad at the whores and the old men that want to fuck. Like he's just mad. My grandma was a smart lady. Pause. <laughs> I love the audible pause. He said a wise man. <laughs> Thank you. And then he says, my grandma was a smart lady. What's the, what's the joke? What's the joke? Okay. So my grandma's a man or she was wise or she was a whore or she was the whore. For, okay. For Did she tell him what the wise man once said? Or more important question, why say any of it at all? True. Because uh, honestly, I don't know anybody who would watch this and be like, you know what? That joke hit. Am I to believe that what we're about to watch is a true story? Yes. Okay. So everything is based off of true stories. Usually when you think of collection of essay by Shane Dawson, you think about his cat and his animals. Right. I think 
of this book. Oh my god. All right, we keep playing. We can't. Oh. Lunchtime. The only subject I passed with flying colors. Ah. See that morbidly obese girl with a back sweat and orangutan titties? That was me. Is he calling himself a lesbian or is he like putting himself in the shoes of a character or? No, this is supposed to be him. Right. Okay. What I think is funny, Shane Dawson believes if you were once on the heavier side, you can then be as fat phobic and horrible on anything involving the topic, which I don't know if I agree with. To some degree, right? Like if he has gone through the experience, like it's possible to laugh at yourself or to make light of it. Absolutely. But also, you know, hold off a little bit on being cruel. Did he say orangutan titties? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Like there's no... There's no reason for that. No, there is no reason for that. And I'm laughing only because I never thought that I would hear those words come out of your mouth. Me neither. Now I regret saying. <laughs> <laughs> now there's footage of me saying those words out there, damn it. Orangutan titties. Let's see where this goes. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No, like I didn't see you. Like I wasn't even looking down at my phone or anything. Like you were right there and I didn't see you. It's like you were invisible. I get it. Thank you. No, like you were a ghost in this moment and it's like you didn't even fucking exist to me. Isn't that crazy? Okay. I'm gonna go kill myself now. Aw, my mom killed herself. Aw, oh, Amber. As somebody who went to film school, now uh -huh. what's the point of that there? Like, what's the joke there? Why is this, why is this happening? And why do people call him a comedian? Well, this could be setting up a very interesting arc for Amber in which she realizes the, the there's nothing. That, like, I'm sure he was just putting that in there. You were so close. You were so close, but no. No, this is definitely just Shane Dawson trying to be like, everyone in the world is so mean to me. Of course self-obsessed and oh no oh no poor me i hope that this goes the route where he's like yeah they didn't like me then but now i'm rich and famous there's no way that's where this is going right i hope so <laughs> who would have thought you know how every school has what's commonly referred to as the crazy tree no <laughs> no if you aren't aware it's a tree that looks like it was ripped out of a tim burton movie and only the rejects and misfits hang out under it. You know how every school has a kooky bush and everybody just goes and they hang out near the bush? <laughs> oh God, it's the nutso shrub. Everyone stays away from them. What the fuck? You can't just say everything has something and have it be so out of left field. Like they don't even look that bad. Like they just look like regular people wearing black. But that's the crazy tree, huh? Is that guy holding a phone? That's crazy. Yeah, it looks like a TI-84 almost. One of those- oh, wait, does. Doesn't it? That's crazy. Who just like brandishes a calculator when they're walking around? I don't- The crazy tree. Hey, Shane, can I talk to you over here for a second? That's Kelly. She was pretty much the Jay-Z to my Beyonce. And I know what you're thinking. And yes, she was definitely the man in the relationship. Two minutes in and we're already repeating premises. I think I'm having an out of body experience. <laughs> It's just like everything about this is so antiquated mm. and still horrible by any standards, yeah. even by then. I have, I truly have no idea where this is going. I'll give it that. That is true. The fact that we're two minutes in, we're what, like a sixth of the way through and nothing has happened? <laughs> and prom is going to happen at some point. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. let's. I cannot wait to get there. And we used to do everything together, including watching really gross porn with the door locked. She even came out of the closet to me. It was pretty emotional. Are you looking at the guy? No. Are you? No. Well then let me show you something really crazy. Oh my God, goals. Oh my God, they're so sweet. I've always wanted a friend like that. I love high school when everyone's just doing that uh, together. Sure, sure, sure. And you know, no shame on you if you did, but uh, shame on you if you're like 30 and making a short film about it. True, weird. You can establish a character as gay without needing to go that far. I mean, honestly, the only thing that I'm getting out of this screenshot is uh, <laughs> if YouTube doesn't work for me, Google 7 is looking for directions. <laughs> There you go, right. If only I could click a link through a MP4. <laughs> <laughs> How longer is this scene gonna go? Don't mention it.
Ew. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. I can't unhear that. Will you go to prom with me? What? I mean, you won't have to like pay for it. Oh no. Is this a make a wish thing? Did the principal put you up to this? I keep telling him I'm not dying. I just have that dying kid resting face. Pause it, that was almost funny. <laughs> it was almost funny. It was self-deprecating, but not in like a horrifying way, just in like a, ha ha, I look kind of sad sometimes way. But you know what? It's overshadowed by the fact that I would bet my entire life that he is going to reach into that trash can and eat out of it. <gasps> oh my goodness, you did go to film school. They're setting that up and like, I know it's coming and I'm bracing, but like, I don't want it to happen. As a kid who was in and out of like children's hospitals, most of his life, I would say that joke was good. And I'm okay with that joke. If it stops there, it's a good joke, but it's Shane. Oh God. Okay, what's going on? Virilio. Ew. My dad said he wants me to go to prom with a guy. So he said that he would pay for you to go with me. Yikes. It's like the plot of some terrible nineties movie. <gasps> Does it end with you realizing that you're actually not gay and you're in love with me? I'm really glad I'm standing next to a trash can right now. Why do I want to go to a prom anyways? A bunch of straight people fondling each other? It doesn't really sound like your thing. I know it's dumb, but I I really do want to go. I mean, the only time I've ever worn a dress was at my grandma's funeral a few years ago, and I didn't even get to enjoy it. I had to change into something that would cover up my boobs so I could carry the casket. Okay, how many times do we have to pause it and say that jokes are like long and strung out and bad? I have a feeling that it's going to be more than it's been so far. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was almost a joke there. Yes, yes, yes. Like, yes. I had to wear a dress to my grandma's funeral, and I didn't even get to enjoy it. Like, if it paused there, then it's like, oh, haha, ha, wore a dress, That's but, true. Like, funeral. But then it kept going. To bring it back into reality, Shane Dawson did write this line, and, like, he's known for, like, continuing on when people are saying, stop, stop, the joke, you know? So, like, yep. it's like, stop sexualizing minors, stop, stop. Haha, ha, gotta quit it. This was a hard decision. I didn't know what would hurt more, letting my friend down or going to my senior prom with a lesbian. <sighs> the saddest part is what she said to sweeten the deal. My dad said he'd pay for our meal at Denny's. The even sadder part was my reaction. I'm fucking in. Food joke! You guys didn't eat those fish sticks, did you? They were really, really old. Fucking really, really old. I gotta tell somebody! <laughs> Oh, you paused it like right at the right time. I feel like something bad's about to happen. The good news is that I, he might not be going to eat out of the trash can. No, uh uh. Because they're about to do something probably worse. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, that was beautifully framed. <laughs> The choreography that it takes to, to have that whole thing come together is beautiful. Before I knew it, it was already time to lie on the floor and have my mom help me zip up my tuxedo pants. Oh, God damn it! I'm sorry! <laughs> As I finished putting on my suit and looked in the mirror, I couldn't help but notice how much I look like a lesbian myself. How many times is Shane Dawson going to refer to himself as a lesbian? Three. There's no respect here at all. No, but I mean, why were we expecting it out of Shane? That's true. Cause... Yeah, that joke's on me. Yeah, this <laughs> is the question. The only joke out of all of this is on us. Maybe me and Kelly will be the hottest lesbian couple at the prom. Four. It's showtime. <laughs> So he just shatters the fourth wall and then dances with his mom. Oh my god, a dance break! I never saw that coming. That's awesome. Are you sure this isn't like 2009? It looks like, it, doesn't it? No, this is 2015. I hate my selfie for watching this, honestly. Smile, Prince Charming. You look so good, like a fat Ryan Seacrest. Come, <laughs> Come on in. in. Come on, young man. What is that men's warehouse or something? <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? Did you ever watch Shane back in the day? I had like a month long phase where I would only watch some of the videos. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure even then I got like burned out quickly by just the sense of humor. All of it sucks. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's what I have to say. <laughs> no question. So the reason why I asked if you ever watched Shane back in the day is because he used to always do the joke where somebody goes up to him and says, 
you look like a fat and then enter like like celebrity here. I was just curious because this that is his like go-to joke, that and lesbian. I have to wonder where those came from. I I I don't know. Why why those two jokes? I don't know, but they repeat in like everything he does. God damn. He's so original with his comedy that every joke he makes repeats in every video he makes. Hey, I want to have a word with you. Take care of my daughter. Give her a good. Oh, oh, what, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I, oh my God, I don't. I don't know. Why write it? Why film it? I don't it? know if I can do this. Why did no one on set say anything? <laughs> Why did that actor just put everything into that noise? <laughs> the girl said that her dad is paying for her to go with a boy. Yes. Does that mean that the dad like knows she's gay? Is this a commentary on like parents not accepting their closeted kids? Cause I think it is. It's not, but <laughs> but I think that's what we've learned. Or or is is it just like a terrible joke Shane Dawson couldn't help himself but include into this short nightmare? <laughs> it, it is a short nightmare for sure. I was just thinking two of his punchlines have been sound effects. It was the the porn watching, right? horrifying noise. And now this second horrifying noise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, God. Are you going to replay no, it? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I would never. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's worse the second it time. Is. Try to be clear, but you see right through me. I want you near, but you're miles away. Wow. You look beautiful. I feel kind of stupid, actually. What? Why? You look like a child prostitute. But happy about it. Up, up, up. Yeah, there it is. Cool. When Shane in a fat suit makes a joke about child prostitution, it gets me every time. Just stick an old man's cock in my mouth and force me to suck it. Maybe one day. <gasps> you know what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my God. I don't know why this was taken down, actually. <laughs> There's nothing in this that violates any kind of ethics. Yeah. No, this is why hilarious. Just why none of... I think my brain turned off for like five seconds there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go hang out with a bunch of people we fucking hate. That's kind of how I saw prom. <laughs> wow. I can practically smell the bathroom of This motherfucker. This guy, I like, I don't understand how any of this was okay. <laughs> In case you can't tell because they're out of their camo shorts and hiking boots, these are all the lesbians at our school clustered into one big tornado of lesbian. Now we're getting to the point where it's like, Shane, what are we doing here? Yeah. Like, how often do you have to, like, A, joke about lesbians, B, sexualize them? Of course. All in high school, by the way. Oh, of course. These are all people playing high schoolers. The joke was, this is the group of lesbians all in a tornado of lesbians? Right, because lesbians commonly migrate via the tornado function. We requested Evanescence. Evanescence? Love Evanescence. Maybe, maybe later. Go ahead. Really? Yeah. I can find someone else to hang out with for a while. Okay. Save me a dance. Deal. <laughs> and with that, she was sucked up into that big tornado of pussy, and I didn't see her till the end of the night. These are high schoolers you're talking about. And again with the tornado thing, like you just said that. <laughs> Say hurricane if you have to say it again. I looked around the room to see what I could do to fill my time. There was a dance circle with my friends in it. No, thank you. There was a photo booth with props and dumbass hats. No fucking thank you. And then there was a table filled with desserts and a chocolate fountain for dipping. Oh, there we go. Shane. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. More like Shame Dawson. Shame Dawson. Shame Dawson. Is that an original joke? It can't be. <laughs> you know what? Duncan, I liked it. I think it's original. After his whole career, there's no way. <laughs> As I was dunking my 10th Nutter Butter into that cascading waterfall of chocolate, I felt a tap on my shoulder from my teacher, Mrs. Smith. And to say she was slightly intoxicated would be an understatement. You should be out dancing. Me? Dance? Ugh. 
I'd rather die while masturbating and be found by my mother. Every time Shane Dawson masturbates, he thinks about his mom walking in the room. Or at least that's what he wants us to think. He thinks about his mom walking in the room, maybe holding his cat. Ooh, God. Shane is not going to beat the cat allegations. No, I don't think he should. <laughs> uh, Miss Smith, are you trying to have sex with me? Yes. That's what Shane Dawson thinks is somebody trying to have sex with him. <laughs> A hand. One hand. He's like, are you trying to, f are you mid fucking me right now? <laughs> Just messing with you. Do you want to dance? I mean, isn't that inappropriate? Like, lifetime movie inappropriate? <laughs> Come on, you only live once? Let's do this shit. Woo! <laughs> Oh, I love holding hands with my teachers. Right, my drunk teacher who touched me and then made a joke about wanting to have sex with me, but then said, just kidding. Yeah. What was the goal? What was the intention? And also, I don't want to know. I think Shane, as a director, left it up to the viewer, like the genius that he is. The song changed to a slow jam, you know, just to make things more uncomfortable. But she didn't care. She pulled me in close and led me like I was the girl. Is this a true story? I hope not. I had never danced before in my life, and honestly, I was okay with her being my first experience. I mean, what's better than slow dancing with your drunk teacher at your senior prom? Nothing. Like, I'm noticing we have a minute left. Yes. And it's like, why did we spend so much time on the, the lesbians and like the sure. lesbian hurricanes earlier when this could have been a story about someone nervous to go to prom because they want to like make it special. Yes. And then when they're there, the teacher's like, hey, no one's going to remember this. Like, you might as well have fun. Like, come on, I'll even dance with you. Yes. Because then it's a wholesome story because like it's getting over the anxiety and embarrassment of like high school socializing. Uh, but no, no, it's not that. And it's ruined. Yes. And I'm I'm having a terrible time. <laughs> I love that. And honestly, I hope we go back to lesbian natural disasters because if we that... have to know how that story of ended. course, like, of course, yeah. Are they going to morph into a tsunami? Is it going to become like an earthquake? Like Power Rangers, they all just morph into one super lesbian. Right. I wouldn't put it past Shane. It could happen. That's true. When we finished our first slow dance. The tornado of lesbians came over and dropped off Kelly. Oh my god! <laughs> that was amazing! Third time's the charm. <laughs> Patterns come in threes. That's comedy. Wow, that was awesome! Can I cut in? Perfect timing. I gotta go throw up in the parking lot. Stay classy, Miss Smith. Now that I knew how to dance, I grabbed Kelly's hand and led her through the last dance of the night. It was pretty romantic. Well, except for that whole, you know, me having a penis makes her physically ill part. Why was that ever in question, Shane? Why was that bad? <laughs> what were your hopes for the night? I don't care. Mouth of the yearbook. I knew it. He doesn't show up on photographs? What's the, <laughs> like, haha, -ha, she said he was invisible, now he's invisible. Yeah. This is comedy, I think. I think what we can learn from this is that we don't know what humor is. No. And this is like the Bible of comedy. But I, I do want to know what the moral of the story is going to be in the last 47 seconds. Right. Because, like, it's time for him to tell us. Did those crazy kids get wasted and throw their sexual orientations to the side just for one night? Oh, yeah. <sighs> What? Yeah, I'm definitely a lesbian. Wait. Hey, what's up, you guys? No, no, hey, what's up, you guys? What the hell was that? <laughs> What's the message? <laughs> yeah, your teachers want to have sex with you. You'll have to like turn them down and then seemingly convince somebody who was not interested in you to have sex with you. And that's what her dad wanted. I've learned a lot about Shane in these 12 minutes, you know? These 12 minutes that felt like 12 hours? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I've am i aged 30 years and like I'm just closer to death than I was before we started this. Yeah, it really sucks because like I just met you before this video and now you're like on your way out. This is how we've <laughs> yeah. met. It's just watching the Shane Dawson short film. It's not even over. There's 20 seconds of, hey, what's up, you <laughs> yeah, guys? Yeah, we've, we've got a full outro. Hopefully you enjoyed that short film. 
It was so much fun to make. I bet it was fun, Shane. You got to simulate sex with someone. <laughs> I bet he had the time of his life. Uh, obviously, it was based on one of the chapters from my book, I Hate My Selfie, which is out right now. I gotta get this book. <laughs> you mean this book? <laughs> And the part two is this book. This is for a future video. I don't know if I can, cause this was just 12 minutes, right? I know. I don't know if I can put myself through reading two books, but what is really funny about this, this was in Barnes and Noble. These were in the used book section. Oh God. <laughs> uh, for $7 and 65 cents. Wait for it. It's too much. And then it was 50% off that price because it was sitting on the shelves for so long. And then there was a promotion where it was 25% off of that. And then members save an extra 10 percent so like they paid you to take the book <laughs> yes they, they're paying me to get rid of these so i thought i might as well pick it up especially if he's not getting a cut of my sale and i can pick up two horrible books for five dollars total might as well at least for this book tour he sold out oh my god my cat just meowed. Keep Shane away. <laughs> oh God. It's so mind numbing that he made millions off of the books and then yeah. his channel. Basically what I'm saying is that this is my last commentary video and I'm going to move into uh, short films in fat suits. That's my new- Of course, because yeah. clearly it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. If the deleted video can get 50K views, what do you think the original can get? I would say what Shane was trying to say is in high school, in college, all of the minute details and worries that you have will most likely mean nothing in the coming years. You will become a new person throughout those years and things will get better. Yes. Unlike his second book, literally called It Gets Worse. <laughs> it's called It Gets Worse? Yeah. I don't, I didn't think it could get worse no, after I, this. No, I, I, but... I didn't think so either. <laughs> oh, Shane. Well, thank you, Duncan, for coming <laughs> on my channel. Uh, Absolutely. Check out Duncan's channel, please. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. Check out my- uh, Hi, patrons. Thank you. Hi, patrons. Uh, thank you. Patrons. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, patrons. <laughs> also, check out my clothing brand and fun for people who are chronically ill with financial need called Never Stop. Links will be in the description below, as well as Duncan's links. Yes! Check out the links. You did it. Yes, I did it! Yes! Anything to say? Uh, hey, Shane. Quit it. That's all. <laughs> quit it! <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Later.